and welcome to Live with Joy and welcome to another one of our workouts for this week. I'm going to give it a few moments for everybody to start to come onto that post and then we'll discuss what we're going to be doing today and um, remind you of our focus for this week. For today, you are going to need to have um, really just one dumbbell, okay? And I'll, I'll remind you of that in a second. Hi, I see a couple of people coming on. I'm just going to get another moment just to make sure everybody starts to find that post. Um, but I will start to talk about what we are going to be doing today as everybody's starting to come on. You will see that the post says legs, legs, legs. So yesterday we had a workout all about the arms. But once again, for the entire week, we have been focusing on balance. So we've had those balance checks or balance challenges in throughout the week in every one of the workouts that we're doing. And today is no different. Same thing. We are going to have a balance uh, challenge or check in there with certain exercises. Um, we're going to incorporate balance into one of the exercises in each one of those circuits today. And instead of standing balance, it's going to be a little bit more of moving balance. So you'll be moving through that balance today um, on one leg, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we have two exercises per circuit. It's going to be all about the legs. So we're moving legs today with that added bonus of making sure that we have balance incorporated into it today. So we have one exercise uh, that we're going to do and then we're going to add to that exercise and I'll give you some modifications if you need to. Like yesterday, a lot of reps today. So you're going to want to go either slow down your pace or go with a lighter weight. Um, we are only going to use one weight today. So you could use one heavy weight if you would like to. You could use one lighter weight or you can go with no weights at all and just use your own body weight for this one. Absolutely for sure, okay? A lot of things like squats today. So just be mindful of your range of motion. If you have any knee injuries um, or your knees are sensitive, then you're gonna wanna make small movements and not go as deep into those squats or those particular movements that we're doing today, okay? All right, so with that said, make sure that you have, we don't need a mat, we're not coming down to the floor today. You just wanna have that one dumbbell handy. If you wanna hold on to two dumbbells when we're doing um, squats to make it heavier, you can do that as well, that is an option, but it's gonna be a little bit easier with the movement we're doing today to hold on to one just like this, okay? So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use one of my heavier weights and I'm gonna hold just one weight the entire time. Okay, so let's get started with our warm up, and then we'll get right into it. Um, we're gonna be doing the same um, count sequence that we did yesterday. So we're gonna be doing a 45 second set, 30, 15, and then back to 45, 30, 15 with any lead changes that we need to, okay? So same thing that we did with the arms, we're doing with the legs today as far as that timing goes. All right, now we can warm up. Get those shoulders down the track back and engage that center. Let's march it out right and left, standing up nice and tall. Four, three, two, let's give it a little push. Eight more, eight. Four, three, two, step, touch, kick it side, side. Four, eight. Four, three, two, reach across and tap, reach. Eight more, eight, seven. Four, three, two, reach it overhead, up. Eight more, eight. Four, three, two, back to the cross, reach. Last eight. Four, three, two, hands and go, pull it back. Oh. 
up. That's your balance check. Lifting in to that knee. Pause. Right into your squat if you can. Good. Take it down. Relax. We got 15 seconds of squats. Right here. Go. Remember, slow and steady. Only 15 seconds. So you're just going to get a couple of them in. Just a few. That's it. And then we're getting ready for that squat knee. Right side, last and final time. Or just that right knee if you want to eliminate the squat. Once again, as you bring the knee up, whether you're doing just the knee or that squat knee, you want to take that little pause. Okay, that's your little balance check. Good, and relax. All right, now we got to go back to squats for 45 seconds right here. Slow. Feet are hip to shoulder width apart. Take your time. Think about each one as if you're pushing the floor away from your body with your feet. So push that floor away. Okay? 
Do your small move here. And then you can just go for those kicks without the lunge on that second move. So you get less of those lunges in, okay? Um, you know what? Let's actually put that knee in the right hand, okay? So it's the left leg that's working. This way you can balance the weight a little bit, okay? You can let it hang here or bring it up here, okay? So that left foot's forward, weight's gonna be in the right hand, okay? Get set for just those lunges down and up in a static position in two and one. So again, weight's in the right hand, okay, right here. That's gonna balance your weight out just a little bit better than having it in the other side, right here. And again, if you need to lower that arm down, you can be here, okay, but here, yeah, you're gonna work a little bit of that tension in that upper body. Make that upper body work a little bit through it. Do it all on this side, then we'll switch. Good, lift that back toe up. If you're having trouble bending, you can also do this little kind of heel to toe lift instead of the lunges if you need to. Good, you can even take a rest right here. Get back in position and go. Extend it out. Now remember, you don't have to add that lunge. Just do that little kick extension. And that's going to bring the weight into the other leg. Good. I'm going to push kick out. Slow. It's not a fast kick. It's really more of an extension here. You come up, into that knee, and then extend the leg out. So you're also working flexibility right there on that extension. Good. I'm going to take a little moment here. Reset back the same leg. Just those lunges, 30 seconds. Nice and slow I'm going today. Because I know we've got a lot of reps of what we're doing today in each one of those circuits. So I'm taking my time. I'm letting my muscles really work for every rep that I'm doing in a nice, slow, and controlled manner. Good. I'm going to take a little moment. Reset back and go. Right here. Extend it out. 30 seconds. So that left leg takes on the weight as you come up and you extend. You can be holding onto a chair if you need to. Helping you with that balance if you need it. And relax, one more set coming up. Just the lunge. Good, step and release, set it, and go. Last time on this side, lengthen it out. And release, you gotta turn it to the other side, switch that arm, step back now with the left, 45 seconds right here. Just that static lunge. Nice and slow. Look at my control. Taking my time with each one of those moves. Good, I'm going to step it in, take a little moment there, reset, and again, it can just be that extension, or if you can, you want to have that lunge, and from that lunge, you come into your knee, and then your extension out. Slow. 
slow. You're slowing your feet down. This is something they normally go real quick through. And like a kickboxing class without any weights. And you'll do this one kick real super fast. We're slowing it down for our strength. Really taking your time, thinking about that extension as you come out. And holding your balance the entire time that you do that. Good, and relax. Take a moment. Reset. And 30 seconds right here. Rest yourself up from that floor. You can have a totally small move here. Doesn't have to be as long as I'm going. Now you're doing what feels good for you. What's your range? You find it. Some days I have bigger ranges than the other. It just depends on the day. Take a little moment. Reset it. And again, either just that kick or getting that lunge in and then extending out into that kick. Slowly and with control. One more set, static position, straight down and up. Good. Step it in, relax. Step it back and set. Go. Remember that lunge if you want, or just that kick without the lunge. But make it slow, if, even if you're just kicking. You still have this pace. That last one in, and relax. Good, we're setting that clock. Let's all take a break and get some water, rehydrate. Very, very hot today. How are you guys holding up? I know, a lot of heat today. So make sure you're rehydrating, okay? We're halfway there. One way only. If you're gonna use the weight, you don't have to. Okay, we had our hips, shoulders apart squat. We're gonna get a little wider. So it's slightly turned out into your wide squat, okay? Then we're gonna do a squat into a hip lift, okay? Now, if that's too much, just do the hip lift, okay? And no wide squat with it, okay? So you decide what you want to do, okay? Come up into that hip lift or not, okay? Only a slight turn out of those toes because when you come into that hip lift, you don't want to be turned out too much. It's a very, very slight, okay? Take your weight if you're using it. Right here, just set to that wide squat, 45 seconds. In two, and one, go. Right here, wide squat. So again, you want to just be wide within the shoulders. That's going to be a little more glute activation than you had before with the more narrow squats. And again, don't turn the toes out too much. You want to be able to lift into that hip abduction. And again, slow and control because we're doing a lot of reps, right? Take a little rest. Get it ready. And go. Squat. Lift. You want to lift right here with that glute, okay? If it's too much, just stay right here. Eliminate the squat, okay? Otherwise, you're wide. You got to kind of hinge a little bit for this one because of that wide stance. And it's going to come a little bit more through the pocket of that glute for this hip abduction. So it's a little bit more glute driven here.
Good. Remember, think of it coming from that hip right there. Good. And relax. Good. Reset a little bit for that wide squat. Now it's all about squats for 30 seconds. Remember, wider than the shoulders on this squat with those feet. Slight turn out. Just ever so slightly. And we're gonna still be doing that right side, remember. Good, take a little breather for a second. Reset it, still the right side. Down, and right here. Get that little hinge and lift with that three pocket, okay? This is a little more glute because your angles, just that little bit. And you're gonna take that little hinge and try to lift from that glute muscle in the top part of that glute. All right, 15 seconds only. Just the wide squats. Breathe, yes. That's it, just 15 seconds. Take a moment. Reset it. Good, wide squat. Lift, and again, just the lift and eliminate the squat if you need. Think about shifting your weight to that left leg as you hinge and lift. You gotta work that balance. All right, back to 45 seconds. Just those wide squats. We're making our way home, guys. Get that big set in. This is your hardest one, your 45 seconds, and then it's gonna be the left hip lift. And remember, as you lift that straight leg, you're leaning a little bit because you want to come in from the glute. Okay, it's not necessarily just that hip. It's really going to be from the top part of that glute as we lift through that leg. Make sure the knees don't fuck away. Make sure they're out. Going over the toes as you come down and up. Good. Get your last one in. Take that rest. Just a moment, and again, squat it. Got to hinge just slightly off to the right to get the weight into that leg. And again, it's coming from that green pocket here, okay? Which is why we are hinging a little bit and letting that leg lift. It's not a big hinge, just slightly. You're still working on lifting that leg. You're just shifting your weight off to your right side and then lifting it. So you gotta balance, shift your weight, and lift. Or again, you could just be here, and you're eliminating that wide squat if you need to on that second exercise. Relax, 30 seconds, just the wide squat. Watch the knees, make sure they're not buckling, and you fatigue. Really take them out, make sure they're going over your toes on the same angle. Good, so the moment here, reset. With or without that squat, shift your weight to your right, and lift that left leg up straight from the side. Again, thinking about it coming from that top root muscle, that is what you're working with that little angle of that leg, that little shift to the right side. That's where you want to feel it, right in the top portion of that glute. Take a moment, you got only 15 seconds right here. Bring it up, wide squat. Just because you have 15 seconds doesn't mean you're going faster. We're still controlling our movement here.
Good, take a moment. Reset. And add that hip lift right here. Shift and lift. And done. Take a moment. We're going to reset. And we've got our final set coming up. Just going to grab a little water before I give you those last two moves. All right. One weight only again. And it's going to be in the right hand. Left leg is going to be your standing leg here. It's going to be a lot of balance for this one, okay? Shoulders are down and back, engaging your center. We're hinging and coming back up. This is your first move, just the hinge. It's going to be some nice balance in that left leg for that move, okay? If you need to, you can just tap it and bring it in by making the balance a little easier. You can hold on to your chair. Second move, you're going to hold it long enough to do a little hamstring curl. So watch me. Hold, curl. Nice and slow, and back up, okay? Now, what you can do is tap it, curl it from there, and then step it back in. You can also eliminate the hinge on the second move, and then just do the curl right here, okay? You're still gonna have some sort of balance there, all right? So first thing you gotta do, wings in the right hand, left leg is your standing leg, come onto the toe of that right leg, and start to hinge forward your body like a seesaw. You're not rounding or dropping or trying to reach the ground. You're hinging forward with the hips. In two and one. So 45 seconds on the clock, right here. Watch how slow I'm gonna go on these today. And when I come up, I come all the way until my toe comes back to that floor. And I'm not gonna go any higher on that leg than my hip. So I'm not gonna lift that leg any higher than my hip level. Hip level or lower in that back leg. You're gonna feel that left leg. Maybe you can have a little struggle here. You wanna keep a soft knee. It's straight, extended, but it's a soft knee. You're not locking that knee out on the left side. You're also not bending into it. So you wanna just have a soft knee, okay? All right, take a moment, breathe. Set your position, and now we hinge. You gotta hold long enough to bend, extend the leg, and come back up. Take a break if you need. And if you don't wanna add the hinge, just give me the curls here. We're bringing that toe back to the ground. But that's gonna be a little harder if you don't really have a break. But you can also just stay here more upright and put that foot to the ground as well, okay? You're still gonna get a lot of stability in that left leg. That left leg is gonna really burn through this step, through this circuit. Do the best that you can, and take those breaks in between for those five seconds. So shift your weight maybe. Good, so now start to kind of shift your weight. Take a little moment, and we're going 30 seconds, just hinging, right here. Remember, body's like a seat saw right here. And you're gonna feel that strength in that left leg. Might be even a little bit sore and hard to do from all that balance you did yesterday as well. And all week, really. Good, finish up your last one. Maybe again, shift your weight to the other side for a moment. Shift it back. And now we're gonna add in that curl and then back up right. Open that chest, make sure you're not rounding so you shouldn't look like this, okay? Open, your back is contracted. It's a strong back. You can get rid of that weight if you feel like the weight is dragging you down and just have your hands, okay? Put that weight down, all right? Shift your weight to the other leg. Shift it back, and you've got 15 seconds. Just those hinges with that single leg right here. Again, slow, doesn't matter that it's 15 seconds, you're not trying to get a whole bunch in. 
You're just doing another set with a few. Come on up, shift your weight to the other leg, take it off of that left, shift it back, and go. Now we're holding, bending, extending, and coming up. And again, I'm going slow. We only get two or three of these in. Good, okay, I'm gonna take it right to the other side now. Now we wanna have that right leg, your standing leg. Open up that chest and start your hinging. Good, now all the weight's gonna be on the right. All the way up. Super slow, see how slow I'm going? I'm really making that standing leg work here. Keeping that just slight bend that I have in my knee, super slight. I'm really thoroughly extended into the soft knee. Remember, you can get rid of that weight and just be reaching towards the floor with the hand. Good. Shift your weight to the left leg. Shift it back to the right. And now get ready. Adding in. Hold, bend, extend, and up. You can even do your bend and extend from up right here and just that if you need, okay? Hang it as you hold. You get that hamstring curl in and you come up. That just open, then if the weight feels like it's weighing you down, get rid of it. Otherwise, keep a really strong back. Your back should be super contracted and at work right now. Come on up, shift your weight to your left just for a moment. Shift it back to your right, 30 seconds, just the hinges. No hamstring curl, just the hinges. Find that control to go slow. You're going to feel that glute muscle just pulling you back up to that position right here. Really at work. Good. Get your last one in. Shift your weight to your left. Shift it back to your right. Adding in that hamstring curl or just do your hamstring curl. Hold it. Then extend it. And come back up. When you go slow on these, you really feel that muscle at work, especially that glute muscle. Shift the weight. One more time, shift it back. And one last time for those hinges, just the hinges. 15 seconds only. Again, you're just going to get a few in with that controlled slow movement that you are doing. Good. Shift that weight. Back to the right, and let's get that last exercise in right here. Hold, bend, extend it, and back up. And you are done. Get that weight out of your hand. Relax. Right here, we are going to stretch it out. Let's get that left foot forward. Get that right foot back. Press and hold that heel to the ground. Open up that chest. Right here. And then let's take that arm across that chest because once again, the upper body is holding those weights. So it still needs a little stretch itself. That back is really retracted the entire time. And we need to stand back on the hips. Step it in and come up onto the toes. Push those hips forward. Get that stretch in the front. Staying right here, see if you can grab that foot and reach. And the knees, take that heel to the front, extend leg and down. Right 
Rise it up, press it up. Let's take that right foot forward, left foot back. Big step and press that heel to the ground. Hands on the hips, open up that chest. And then take the left arm across, press it in. And release, hands back on, open the chest. Step it in, coming up onto the toe, hold the feet. Push the hips forward, feel that stretch in that hip flexor. Hold there. Grab it right from there if you can. Reach or hold on to something. And release, bring that heel to the front. Hinge forward and reach for those toes. Lengthen out the back of those legs. Slide it up, press it up. Face me. Let's cross over your right leg. Lift your arms up. Lower down the left. And hinge. Rise it up. I want you to lift and reach. And hinge again. And lower down. Cross over your left as you can. Or keep the feet as close together as possible. Bring both arms up. Lower down the right. Leave the left there. Lift it and reach. And one more time, come up, lift it even more, and hang. Lower all the way down, separate the feet, take a deep breath in. Exhale down, one more time, in. Exhale down, and you guys are all done. Fantastic job today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We are rounding out that week, working that balance. And tomorrow, you better know there's going to be some cardio in there. Okay, so join me tomorrow. We're going to get that intensity and heart rate up. Okay, and we're going to also have that balance check or challenge in there somewhere with some of those exercises at the very least. Okay, so join me tomorrow to round out and finish up that week. If you enjoyed this workout today, once again, save it, share it, come back to this page, click on videos. They're all there for you. And I will see you tomorrow once again to finish that week up, finish out that balance, and get that intensity up tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.